This is high speed TPU. Uh, who is it? I think Overture. I don't know. Let's look. Yeah. Uh, that stuff. Now, um, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon with the AMS. Supposedly the AMS does not use or cannot use TPU. Um, but supposedly can use the high-speed TPU. Previously I'd been printing TPU if I wanted to using uh, one of these IBIS independent dryers and I'd have to hook that up you know separately back here. Um, also take note of the humidity. This is the ambient humidity in the room. I haven't used this in a long time. And look at the humidity in there. Also notice the temperature. So I also have my AMS heated. This is something that I've only seen with one modification elsewhere. Um, and I've, it took me a while to find a heater, this is the heater, that's small enough to fit inside the AMS. And so I have this being powered with a uh, PSU from a different 3D printer. It's a 24 volt, so that's a 24 volt heater. Of course you can get them in different uh, voltages. And it has its own thermostat. Um, I just have it resting there because I'm still experimenting with this. If somebody wants to buy one of these, I'll have a link in the description. Um, I have that little clip there jammed in there so that it doesn't rest all the way at the bottom so it can suck in fresh air sufficiently. Uh, so if somebody else wants to buy this and make some sort of heat ducting at the top uh, to distribute the heat in there, that would be fantastic. Um, I did notice that if I leave the lid cracked, it will decrease the humidity a lot faster. Um, but it will still even work with the lid shut because there's a few little gaps in there. Um, it would take a lot longer to actually dehydrate uh, to dry out the filament that's in there. Um, also, I noticed with this heater right here in the middle, I had this high-speed TPU in this slot and it kept having a retract error. And I think that's because this heater was just making the, the filament just a little bit too soft, being close to the heater. Um, I had that set at 30 degrees Celsius, or 35, somewhere in there. And this was up to uh, 110 degrees Fahrenheit down here. So I imagine right here is quite a bit warmer and that warmth was probably making it too soft to feed in and then retract properly for the initial startup procedure. Uh, on this machine. So I'll just leave that cracked a little bit. Mine doesn't shut all the way because I have, uh, you see right, right there, my seal in the back does not lay flat. And I, I've tried fixing it, but it just keeps going back to that position. It has memory. So uh, here's my, you know, here it is working. That, uh, of course, you know, it's a octopus. I was trying to print it in TPU because I've done one in PLA, but they seem a little brittle in PLA. But if I do it in TPU like this, um, let's see, I have one here. So this is the same material. It's uh, it's not as brittle. Like you can you can stretch it, you can pull it, and it's not going to break as easily. Um, also, ironically, not ironically, but an observation for whatever reason, this one the. Uh, bed height was not correct. Like the first time ever on probably thousands of prints on this machine, or thousands of parts, not thousands of prints, because uh, I do multiple part runs. Um, first time I've ever noticed that the Z height was wrong, but also this uh, TPU sticks really good to the um, texture PEI bed, so I don't have to worry about bed adhesion really at all, it just it sticks. Um, also, I was tricking this into running the TPU, by the way, by um, basically I took a TPU profile in the bamboo slicer and I, what did I do? I just changed the material to PLA. And so all the settings are TPU, but it thinks that it's a PLA reel. And so when I put this in here, um, filament, I also you know, leave that as PLA and then it, it works, so it's awesome. Um, also, I have a, a diamond-backed diamond nozzle in there on an aftermarket AliExpress 
uh, hot end that takes uh, standard Mark VI nozzles. Well, not standard Mark VI nozzles. It has its own special nozzle that it takes, um, but the Diamondback does work, except it hits the wiper real hard in the back because it's a little bit too long by like a millimeter and some change. Uh, so I do need to take off that Diamondback nozzle, throw it in my lathe, and shorten it by you know just a little bit to bring it down to the stock length of the, the other custom nozzles that come with that AliExpress hot end that are shorter. Um, also, yeah, that's another video. Okay, uh, so there it is. TPU, AMS, heater, uh, Diamondback nozzle, working. Bye.